Hi there, this is Save a Crypto. Okay, so I um, wasn't sure if I was going to do another video today, but uh, I thought I have to now because I uh, got an email today from Crypto.com with um, pretty miserable news, to be honest, actually. Um, basically, everything's getting worse. I mean, things have been going downhill for a little while. Uh, there was the cap on the amount of interest you get back on the earn features a little while ago so if you had more than like uh i think it was twenty thousand bucks or thirty thousand then you know the interest rate gets uh slashed by a half uh that made it particularly unattractive to me and uh now they're going to reduce the cro rewards but it gets worse because um if you have the ruby steel card uh which is the one i got for my daughter uh, she was going to get like um, 2% back and it's now going to be half a percent, which is pretty much rubbish, isn't it? You know, it's like, it's like, why, why bother? Um, my Frosted Rose, Rose Gold uh, was 5%, getting reduced to 3%, which is pretty rubbish. 5% uh, was good, 3% is okay, but there are better options out there. Um, the monthly CR card rewards cap I mean this is insane uh, so basically if you've got a ruby steel one you're getting like hardly any rewards back anyway and once you get over $25 worth that's it you don't get any more uh, and for the indigo and the jade green uh, it's $50 uh, I mean luckily my one uh, there is no cap on it so I'm still going to get my 3% back which is okay now um, what used to happen for uh, people like me and also the, the Jay Green and the Royal Indigo, all those people, we used to get um, uh, rewards on the amount you stake to get the card, which to me was like brilliant because, uh, you know, if, uh, for example, like, you know, the, the price of CRO went down, you wouldn't worry too much because you're still getting rewards every Friday and it was all good. So, um no problem there, but like um, that's getting phased out, so you're going to get nothing back. Now imagine for people, well, actually people like me, I mean I'm, I'm actually only staking 100,000 CRO uh, to get the rose gold because I applied for it before they increased the amounts, but I think now it's 400,000, no, no, four, 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 was it 40,000, oh, whatever, but I think you're talking about like, you know, forty thousand dollars you're gonna stake and then get nothing back on that just to get the three percent on your card for the purchases you make it's barely worth it isn't it and uh uh stuff like the uh, spotify netflix that isn't going to change you're still going to get the lounge key access which uh, i must admit i quite enjoy it's all a bit crap isn't it so uh i'm looking at alternatives and to be honest i'm actually thinking i've just taking out my CRO and buying eGold with it and putting it into the Maya app and getting the 13% because like why not and once again I'm thinking about Zoid Pay where you can get a card where you can get uh, what you get cash back so if you're staking I mean you know you're talking about the equivalent of not quite but like this silver uh, level here for the same as what you you have with the rose gold card and the cash back you're getting there seven percent well up to seven percent i'm not sure exactly what that means but um that seems pretty good and then at, at that point you can also uh do stuff with your rk max this is looking so bloody tempting now i, I honestly wish i'd got into zoid pay when it was uh, much cheaper uh, that said it has come down a bit in price recently um so that's the possibility. The other one is the Utrust Hold card. And with that card, I mean, if you go for the tier two uh, and you state 20,000 UTK, which I think at the moment is about about $4,000, $4,000, 4,000 euros, something like that. And uh, with that, you get 1.5% cash back in UTK every time you use the app or use the card. So there's that. I mean, there's even the Binance card that I featured the other day in a video, if you click the link up in the top right-hand corner now. 
Uh, I mean, that's got a cap on the amount you can get back. But even so, if you uh, stake some BNB, uh, you're getting pretty reasonable rewards there. And the amount you need to stake to get the 5% back that you would get now with the Obsidian Black card with Crypto.com is much less. So that's another option. So overall, I think if they just hadn't wasted so much bloody money uh, employing Matt Damon and buying that um, football pitch in uh, America, then maybe they wouldn't have had to do all this. Or maybe the you know the business was going down the pan anyway. I don't know. I'm I'm wary about uh, keeping a lot of money over there, and I've actually got like quite a large amount of Bitcoin in the urn feature there, which finishes on Wednesday, and uh, I'm taking it out of there and I'm moving it somewhere else. I'm probably going to move it to Freeway, to be honest. Uh, I know a lot of people think I'm probably mad for doing that. Uh, I I don't. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've also got some Ethereum as well, finishing the same day. I'll probably move that over there as well. Um, and this is my problem now is like because um, because Freeway is looking so attractive and everywhere else is looking so pants um, that I kind of wish there was a you know a good second and third option that was like similar and uh you know then i could sort of uh spread my stuff around a little bit and uh, not feel so vulnerable by having everything in one place I mean, i'm not going to put everything in one place that's for sure but at the same time um you know i'm not a massive fan of just having like a ton of crypto on a ledger uh locked away somewhere um, you know, I kind of like my crypto to do something and ideally earn me a bit of money that I can sort of use to live on. Uh, so, yeah, a bit, a bit, that's all a bit depressing, really. Um, it's a shame how uh, crypto.com started off so good and I was so, I was so bullish with them, so happy to promote them and tell everybody how good they were. In fact, I've probably got quite a few friends who've got like crypto.com cards and, you know, enjoying a bit of, um, a bit of the earn feature. And uh, it's just a shame that they're just going to see it all go to pot now. But, you know, I guess they have to do what they have to do to keep their business alive. And the last thing you want is it is for it to, uh, you know, for the business to die. Oh, by the way, if any of you uh, are, you know, worried about my buy bit trade from early on, what actually happened was when it went up uh, this afternoon, uh, I, I did uh, close my trade uh, because I wasn't happy with the leverage it was at. Uh, and I took uh, $72 profit, which isn't amazing, but it's something. And then what I've done, I've, I've, I've re-entered uh, at uh, 37997 uh, At the moment, it's slightly underwater, like $88 down. Uh, but I've got plenty of uh, plenty of more left that I can add in at lower levels if we go down there. And now my liquidation price is uh, 31797 So basically, if I was to put in an order, you know, kind of like way, 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 way down here, uh, something like, you know, 33000 or something, then, uh, uh, you know, that would lower the liquidation price down to something really low, so which it would never go near. So I'm not worried about getting liquidated now. I can sleep happily tonight and uh, I don't need to worry about anything. I'm not going to make fortunes with this trade, but it will be OK. So just thought I'd up update you on that. Um, anyway, I better go to bed really because it's, uh, it's a school night. So if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, make sure you're subscribed, put the notifications on all, leave a nice comment and above all, tell your friends.